What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with thehuntergt.com. That's right, go check out the website. Got the awesome forum over there with all sorts of awesome guys participating, showing off their finds, talking about metal detectors. So why don't you come visit us, say hello at thehuntergt.com. Well, we are at the old park here today. Early 1900s finds here into the teens at this park. It rained pretty good last night. You can see the base of the trees here are kind of wet. The ground is really wet, so I'm hoping to eke out an extra inch or two on the depth here. I can finally record the street sweeper was going around here. He must have gone around this park like five times. I've never seen somebody milk their job so much. I mean, I've never driven a street sweeper, but I've seen others and they definitely don't go by five times like that. So he was definitely milking his day. <laughs> Omega 8500 here today. I got it running all the way up to 80 on discrimination. I'm just cherry picking pennies, dimes, and quarters here today trying to find a deep silver or wheat penny. First find of the day here, a 1996 quarter. Nothing spectacular, but I will take it. I love quarters. So let's run through what I'm running here. Tones D1, frequency 1, no backlight, disc level 80. I'll probably notch in nickels here eventually. In no notch, volume at 10, deep one mode. So that's what I'm running here on the 8500. And uh, without further ado, what do you say we go hunt this park? Okay, it's like the sixth time that he's been around here now. <laughs> oh, I've never seen a street sweeper milk it so bad. He must not want to work today. So here's a bouncy one. So it's 80s, 90s. About five inches. I'm skeptical the way it bounces. Dime quarter, dime quarter, and then down to zinc every once in a while. About four inches right there. Let's find out what it is. And there it is, a little piece of copper or something. It's heavy, so it's high toning up copper range. So pretty sure it's just corroded copper of some sort. Who knows what it is? It's real heavy, real heavy lead or copper. It's a heavy, heavy metal. That's for sure. On to the next. Eighty-five, eighty-four. Dime quarter range. About two inches right there. We'll find out what it is. I took the disc way down. I'm kind of running at like 21 discs, so as you can see, it's a little chattery when I'm over the target there, but as soon as I move it over, it's gone. I was kind of moving the coil there, so pretty stable. Just sitting right there, up in the air, no real chatter. I'm at running 95, I want to say it was. It's real sensitive, that gain uh, knob there. So 95, I'm running 21 on the disc. So nails, small iron, stuff like that is out. I'm running three tones. I mean, that's just the way it runs. I'm running the D5, so no proportional audio, high tone on the dime quarter, mid tone on nickel, pull tab, stuff like that, and then low tone on the iron. So let's find out what we got. 1980 penny there. All right, there it is. All right, got a shallow target here. 85, 84. Two inches. Let's find out what it is. All right, a silver ring. Pretty happy about that. Good stuff. I didn't hit a silver coin, but I did hit silver today. So that makes me extremely happy there. Go Omega, go. Boy, I really like this Omega. 
Uh, this is one <clears throat> machine I will not be selling off ever. I don't think. I like that it's 7.7 .7 kilohertz. A little different than the Patriot T2, which are 13. Much lower frequency, so it's really hot on copper, silver, penetrates the dirt really well. Uh, yeah, this was only 2 inches, but, you know, it penetrates the dirt quite well on some deeper targets. And, uh, yeah, there it is. Silver ring. Clean it up. It's a little bent, but, uh, yeah, I think I'll reshape it, and it'll probably fit on my daughter's finger there pretty good. Pretty good. All right, on to the next. All right, pretty solid signal here. Pretty shallow, about three inches, but 82, 83, 84, pretty, pretty constant. Three inches. I'm back up to cherry pick mode, dimes and quarters. I got tired of the trash, so let's see what this is. Well, it wasn't a coin. It was one of those. I've always wanted one, so I finally got one at the park here. So my journey is complete. I don't think I'm gonna upload any more videos, and uh, the Hunter GT is gonna call it a day here, guys. I finally found it. So thanks for coming with me on all these journeys. And just kidding. I'm just kidding, of course. There it is. Part of a bike brake assembly, I think, or something of that nature. Not sure. But it high toned pretty good. Pretty good ID on it, too. So it's got a lot of roundness on it, you can see. And it's hollow in the middle. So it definitely gave a good signal. Hollow objects and circular objects will trick you every time. Let's go find some coins. Getting skunked. A lot of trash today. I found that cool ring. Only a couple coins and uh, boy, pocket full of trash that I threw in the trash can over there. So not the greatest day, but that uh, silver ring definitely makes up for it. That's for sure. Yes, that's the sound of the street sweeper you hear going by like an 18th time. <laughs> 1969 penny right here. So just found it right there. There we go. Macro in on it. Not quite a uh, 50s or 40s, but I like 60s. Nothing like a 1969. Yeah. Let's go find some more coins, a couple more, probably call it a day. Trying to keep my videos a little shorter here and, uh, you know, no 20, 30 minute long stuff. Nobody wants to see that much clad. <laughs> On to the next. <laughs> 73 penny, right there. I'll get you a couple more IDs and tones on the next few here. This one was about two inches, three inches down, so it was a pretty good ID. I probably should have shown it, but I'll get you some more here before we call it a day. All right, super shallow one here. You can hear it double hitting on the coil. And the ID's pretty good, 85, 86. Zero inches down. <laughs> Should be an easy grab. Let's go get it. Alright, I told you it haunts me. 1977. There it is. It's not a penny this time like all of the other 8,000 times, but it's a dime. And I want to say this is the second 77 dime I found in a row now. Maybe the last video or the one before that, but uh, I don't know if I've uploaded it yet. But yeah, if it's not a 77 penny, it's a 77 quarter or a 77 dime, or a nickel. Yeah, it's just bonkers. I used to drive a 77 Nova way back in the day, and it was a uh, okay car, hunk of junk, that I tried to soup up a little bit here and there, and uh, yeah, it's coming back to haunt me, I guess. It's like the Christie of, you know, I haven't seen that car since, but 77 sure does seem to pop up a lot, so. Or Christine, or whatever that movie, Stephen King book, right, movie? All right, on to the next. This is literally the cleanest street in all of Colorado. It's like the 18th time he's come down. And so, I mean, he's doing the other side now at least. So, give him a little credit maybe. He finally got some gumption. Anyways, <laughs> here's a 63 penny. Check out all the white stuff on it. Well, it was covered in white stuff. It's fertilizer that they dumped years back. It's about four inches down. I've noticed it's all over this park. 
but it's like tiny little white granules everywhere and they really get all over the coin. They didn't chew this coin up, but uh, I noticed some at the three, four inch level here are pretty chewed up and uh, yeah, I chewed it up with my digger on the back side. I saw that it was a memorial, so I said, I'll oh, screw it and just try to pry it out. It's in this hard, rocky stuff right here, so it really, really took a little bit of force to even get down to three inches, four inches right here. So uh, there it is, a 63 penny, 63, on to the next. 78 penny right on the surface basically about a half inch down pinpointed at zero there it is a couple more coins call it a day I think two more two more all right another real shallow one here two inches let's find out what it is I think I'm in the funk disco era of the park. Last few pennies, dimes have all been 60s, 70s. Here is a 74 penny. To find something a little bit older, but I've noticed the old stuff is way over on that rim and then the rim along the other side here where those two guys are walking over here on this side and then way back there by the court is like all 80s over here and then like this side it's all 60s and 70s so pretty weird pretty weird but i'll take it pennies a penny a dime's a dime and a quarter's a quarter of course so there it is 74 i think i'll find one more coin call it a day all right last coin for the day 84 85 Two inches. A lot of shallow stuff today. So haven't really got any deep signals, but I've been here with my T2, the Patriot, the F70, um, at Land Ranger Pro. I've been here probably 20 times at this park, at least 20 times. 20 videos here. So yeah, like quite a few of my videos are from this park. So nothing's ever hunted out, as you can see today. But uh, yeah, nothing but the shallow stuff here today. Let's find out what it is. All right, a birth year penny for me, 1975. So staying with the disco era, 75. All right, guys, that is going to be it, I think. I'm starting to get sore legs, sore back. Dug a lot of pull tabs and aluminum bits here today. So didn't show any of those on video. But uh, a clad filled day with an awesome silver ring there to uh, top it off. So nothing wrong with clad. Clad is rad. And a silver ring to go on top of that, it's a good day out detecting for me. It's not always about the finds, it's about having fun with your detector, and I had loads of fun today. Hope you did too. Hope you enjoyed the video. The Hunter GT signing off. I will see you on the next video.